Hi, um, and welcome to your trig class um, online. Um, this is how to navigate to the course. So, <clears throat> in the start here orientation module, you should be right here. You've clicked on this and you're watching this little video. Um, if you click on this, I'm going to go through how to use your textbook. I really, really think you have a great textbook and it is very beneficial to read. And so, throughout the modules, I've put places, um, I've highlighted the pages you should read each week. Um, this is the Zoom link for every Zoom session that we'll have, including the very first one. You only have one mandatory meeting. Um, the rest are completely optional. Um, if you cannot attend the mandatory meeting, there's an alternate assignment where you can get full credit for, for what went on. So it's it'll be fine if you can't attend. Um, I do record every session that we, that we have so that uh, students can watch it later. If you can attend the sessions that are optional, then you get some bonus points towards your upcoming test. Um, if you can't attend, but you want to see what went on, I, you can watch the recording. If you can't attend, but you have a problem that you would like me to go over that you can watch later, just email that to me and I'll do that during the session. Um, we'll meet um, throughout the week a couple of times. Um, if you need to access the syllabus, click here and you can see the syllabus. It will remind you of whatever, uh, how the course is set up, how much credit you will get for each, um, what you'll be learning, um, just how everything is. If you can also click here for the syllabus, if you want to know, you can also click here to access the Zoom sessions as well. Um, this is the schedule. I just say I'm going to click into this one. If we look at the schedule, this will show you how I've set up the entire course and when things are due. This is really important. I will be following this very closely. If there's a change to the schedule, I will email you or send an announcement and you'll know that there's been a change. But basically, it's set up the same each week. Every week, you will have um, kind of a go-to-class session. These are the worksheets where you... You watch a video that I've made that is um, specifically for that worksheet, and you can follow the, its guided notes and problems that you can do. Um, and you, you take a picture of the work you've done there and upload it for some credit to say that, okay, yes, I've been to class. Um, there will be homework due each week except for week one, and there will be a quiz or a test each week. So week one is a little different. We have some getting used to how the class is going stuff. So week two is a little more typical. This is the worksheet is where you go to class. You uh, turn in your notes to show me you went to class. You'll do homework. Our homework is through Edfinity, an online platform that is relatively new. And um, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more in a second. And then you'll have a quiz due each week. Everything's due Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Um, except for test, you can see in week five, we have our first test. That will be due still Sunday, but it's open a number of days, like Friday through Sunday. Um, I think Friday at one through Sunday, so that you have a span of days to decide when you're going to take your test. Okay, so let me go back to the modules. I have the course set up so it opens to the module page because I think it's really important. If your module page gets busy and you don't, it looks, it's hard to look at, you can click here in the gray and it will, it will close up these modules so it makes it easier to, to look at. And if you need to go back, just click there and you can find um, the Zoom link if you've lost it, the syllabus, the schedule. Right here, this is, this button is all the um, free tutoring that Valencia offers that you can um, access. So that's where you can find the links for that. These are directions for, you will have to, in this course, um, upload some PDF files to me, your tests, your quizzes, your notes. And so this is instructions on how to do that if you've never done that before, put together by my coworker, um, Professor Joel Berman. Also, you have wonderful, you have care coaches for this class, so that's exciting. And this is, um, um, I plan, I, this hasn't been put together yet, but I think we'll have some, a uh, little video maybe of your care coaches. Um, if not, then I'll just delete that, but I think we're going to have that because you have two or three different care coaches that you have access to to help you in this class, which is a really great thing. Okay, let's go to week two. I just want to show you what this will look like. Oh, wait, this is a typical week. Um, I'll have an overview of what's happening that week, or I'll have an overview of what you'll be learning in a whole uh, unit or whole chapter, but that's like just a little, hey, this is what you're going to be learning. This is how it ties us up. Um, if you click here, 
this is the textbook reading for the week um, that will tell you. And like I said, I think it's a great textbook, so I uh, hope that you will be reading that. We really have a good text. Um, right here, the next, this is, I've clicked to the next thing, which is, this is a typical, this is me doing a video. I have a whiteboard in my house, and I made all these videos. Right here, if you click here, this is the worksheet that goes with these videos that you'll fill out, and then you'll upload it to me, and it's worth some points. Um, that's how that goes. Let's see here. So I want to go to week two is where I want to show you. So week two, little overview, text reading, go to class, go to class. Then you'll have a quiz. The quiz is typically on what you learned the week before. Um, and also the homework that's due that week is what you were introduced the week before. So the quiz lines up typically with the homework that is due that week. Okay, so let me click into a homework. Okay, when you open this, you'll have to open it in a new tab. And so this will click into your Edfinity homework. Now, Edfinity is a new platform that we are using, okay? And um, this is what's a little bit unfortunate. It's so new that they don't have all the little, it's cheaper, which is why we went with this, but unfortunately, it doesn't have all the help me solve this that you might have seen in maybe my math lab or another platform. So what I encourage you to do is if you're having any kind of trouble with this, click on the email instructor and I can help you. Now I might respond with, hey, I, I went over that in the Zoom session, so watch the Zoom session, because I will be explaining how to do any of the homework in there because they don't have as many um, helps to solve this as they do. Um, so I understand that this homework platform may not be as student user friendly and I tried to get out of that, but I couldn't, so we are gonna be using this but I selected the homework problems. I know what you're gonna be dealing with and if you have any trouble, I will help you. Um, you do have to ask for help though. <laughs> um, and I'll help you with that. I have this set up so you can do as unlimited attempts. And so as long, if you turn your homework in on time, you get full credit. If you turn it in, whatever homework you don't get done on time, I have it set up that you'll get 75% homework if you turn it in late um, and that goes with with, work, with the worksheets as well. Okay, let me go back to the module two. All right, so here we are. Not, I wanted to go to week two is where I want to go. Okay. So homework, homework. Um, this is some um, extra resources that you can see. Lots of these are from uh, Math is Power for You and it has extra videos you can watch that will help you learn about the material that we are um, learning that particular week. So that's just extra stuff to help you. Um, let's see. And then, of course, I record all the Zoom sessions and I will post the recording links right here that you can go back and look at at any point. So that's kind of how the course is set up. I encourage you to refer to the schedule. Um, and the modules, that is what's going to tell you what to do when. I have due dates on all these things. Um, the Canvas calendar, occasionally it will miss something. And so that's really unfortunate because you don't want to miss a test. I've had it where it didn't, it recorded everything perfectly except for it didn't put on the test, which was a big deal. So please um, refer to the module, refer to the schedule. And the calendar is helpful, but it's not 100% accurate. So be, be wary of that. Okay, I look forward to the semester together.